Now it's time for another special guest now, and we have, it's a delight to have Connor from Our Hollow at Home. Yes, Our Hollow at Home. They're, uh, they, they have been on the scene now for, uh, yeah, a number of years, and um, have a new album out. So welcome to the show, Connor. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. No problem at all. And uh, we were just having a little chinwag before we were starting this interview where you are the front man of Our Hollow, Our Home. And uh, that's a great name for a band. And <laughs> when, when you, I guess when I guess when you're um, trying to uh, decide on a name for a band, it's half the battle won. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. It was definitely something we um denied about for a significantly long time. <laughs> and, you know, your sounds would just say they they are kind of like on the stronger rock side of things oh definitely i'd say so uh, i mean we're i'd say uh with this album we've probably branched more out into the rock kind of sound uh whereas our first two albums were very much like solidified in the metal metalcore mm. kind of genre so mm. now i think we're really starting to sort of push the boundaries for what is the our hollow our home sound um now we've hit sort of album three material and uh, we're, yeah, we're really just starting to experiment and see what parts of our sound we can almost exaggerate in places and yeah, just really sort of play around with it all. Powerful stuff. Um, did you first uh, come come on the scene with a cover version of uh, Ed Sheeran's Shape of You? Well, actually, if I'm 100% honest with you, we started quite a few years before then. We, uh, we were a band called Deadlines for a good few years beforehand. And then we had a few lineup changes. And we decided to kind of rebrand in uh sort of late 2012 and then it released the first our hollow home single which was rest assured uh in 2013 so we've been going we had been going a good few years before we did the ed sheeran cover but the it was definitely a turning point yeah. for us in our career doing that cover i mean it was the first time we got sort of major radio play um really sort of turned a few heads um and really pushed the kind of like viral side of things online so we've always kind of like been a band that's really wanted to be very connected with our support uh, our support network and our fans um that's something that's really really important to us so um like using the sort of platform of a cover to kind of branch out and widen that demographic mm -hmm. but still kind of keep it really really close knit as in like the connectivity so we we still always sort of talk to fans online we've got a big discord set up and we have like a big facebook group chat uh not group chat sorry a group page called team oo where we regularly discuss sort of new merch new tracks just anything our whole home related uh, within that within that space so um i think it really enabled us to kind of branch out and appeal appeal to a wider demographic doing a cover of such a popular song like that i'm with you and um on to uh, presently you've been recognized by kerrang magazine um how was that for you to be uh, recognized by such an institution in the rock world yeah it's it's pretty it's very humbling for sure i mean I, as a kid i used to buy kerrang magazine every week you know, with my pocket money, go up, go up the shop on my bike and pick up Krang and, you know, see My Chemical Romance or, you know, through for a friend on the cover and be like, ah, oh, I just want to be like those bands. So to sort of get uh, the, the kind of positive response that we've had from establishments, you know, not just Krang, but, you know, Rock Sound, Metal Hammer, some of the biggest names in uh, the scene in the UK, especially. It's been, yeah, really, really humbling just to kind of get the praise that we've always wanted our band to receive. Um you know, yeah, it's absolutely mind blowing. Still, still, kind of have to pinch myself every now and then and remind myself that, you know, go, don't don't get too big headed. Now, I still work a day job. You know, I'm not, I haven't packed it all in for music just yet. So, <laughs> that's cool. You seem like a grounded guy anyway. Just speaking with you, um, I appreciate it. No worries. And your uh, new new album. I guess we're here to talk about that mainly. Um, Burning the flood. Uh, it's got songs mm. called Better Days, Overcast, and Seven Years. All strong tracks. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I mean, this album, uh, especially like me and Toby are like, the, I mean, Toby, the primary songwriter of the band um, and, and uh, our guitarist and singer. And uh, then myself sort of contributing heavily towards the lyrics. Um, this album, we've really managed to find a really nice balance between both of our creative process. And I think if I'm honest, the pandemic has kind of aided that in a weird way. Um, just having that kind of 
I mean, like like I briefly mentioned before, we all work day jobs. Um, we all have other things that we have to do to keep to keep the money coming in. Um, other than doing the band, it's not like our sole form of income. We are still very much independent, not purely out of choice. Um, just kind of the situation that we've found ourselves in, and we've kind of made it work up until this point. Um, we like being the navigators of our own ship, if that makes any sense. We like that kind of control but it's not to say that we would ever sniff uh, sort of turn our noses up at a label but um no this album we've really managed to like i say just find a really nice balance for that creativity and just put so much time into the writing process um we've never had a full 12 months to just write ever since we put out our first album heartsick in 2017 we've been touring very heavily throughout the uk and europe so finding the downtime to really put all that energy into an album and sort of go back and forth um, with our, uh, our uh, Danka at Avenue Studios, the uh, producer for the album, we um, sort of were able to really sort of go to and from with him more so than we ever have before and really make sure that every sort of section, every vocal, every line is been thought about and, yeah, um, just probably the happiest I've ever been with an Our Hollow Our Home record. I think it really encapsulates where we're at at this point in our career. Um, and it's just a really nice balance of what we can do as well. Like it's a really nice mix. Um, you've got the really heavy side of things on tracks like Monarch and Children of Manus. Uh, and then you've got that balanced out with lighter tracks like Blood and Better Days. And I think it just, from the get go, it's just high octane energy, um, but with a powerful message as well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like I say, I'm just I'm just really happy with it, man. Like it's come out better than I could have imagined, and the response has just been phenomenal. So yeah, just absolutely stoked on Bun in the Flood right now. That's good. That's good. And uh, just speaking with you, I feel your passion, your sense of passion as well. Um, other things I was going to ask you about, you know, you did say about vinyl merchandise. You got them avenues as well, and in of the course, state yeah. in the states as well. Um, in my notes here, number two on the iTunes metal charts as well. Yeah. That's good going. Mind-blowing, yeah. To see the response we got on all of the, the charts. I remember sort of the day it was coming out last week, on last Friday, um, and I'm, I was working my day job, just uh, doing a processing like a delivery in the morning, and uh, just my phone's just going off, and I've got, you know, Josh, our guitarist, going, the album's number 25 in the iTunes charts, just just the normal charts in the UK, and like that's the highest our, 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 like a, a, a project that we've worked on, or I've worked on personally, has ever sort of charted and number seven i think we hit in the metal charts in japan we were in the like the top 50 in germany as well just absolutely mind-blowing that that many people uh enjoy what we do and can take something from it um because it is our hollow home's always been very cathartic writing for our hollow home it's always been a really emotional and cathartic experience it's, it's a release for me personally to get some of those kind of those hard to hard to express feelings out there in a constructive way. Um, it really, yeah, it's really a perfect platform to channel all of your emotions and just to get that kind of response from something mm -hmm. that you really get a kick out of just doing for fun is, yeah, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. I th it is purely mind blowing. And um, interview um, is kind of nearing to the end, but uh, just going to play one of your tracks any moment now as sport for choice actually um, but I just wanted to ask I liked your kind of outlook um, you did say uh, while other people uh, kind of take um, the ladders on the snakes and ladders game you guys like to take the stairs you do you do things at your own pace and of course yeah. the, the tour as well coming up that's uh, in September as well yeah I mean I think we've um, we've always been a band that I mean Let's face it, metalcore is a very oversaturated genre, and metal and rock as a whole. Uh, there are a lot of bands trying to do what we do, and uh, you know, and beyond that. And um, I don't know; it's it's kind of crazy when you stop and think about it. But um, yeah, it's sorry, I completely lost myself there. Um, it's just, it, uh, honestly, it's just been such such a crazy week with this album coming out and all the merch orders and stuff we've been doing. It's been very very full on but yeah we've always kind of taken um like a really slow and steady approach to everything we've always rather than sort of shoot up to the top really really quickly and sort of how can we get viral fame instantly because that's very much like an important like a big focal point um in this day and age for social media it's sort of you know the tiktok generation of 
you know, what's cool right this second, right now, and no one's going to care about in sort of three weeks' time. I, but we've yeah. always like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm with you where everyone's trying to outdo each other. Not everyone, but you kind of get a yeah, sense no, I, that, that it's kind of really competitive out there. But I did, I did, yeah. I did, I did, uh, I did want to ask about your tour in September as well. Um, yeah, of course. No, so yeah, we are touring "Burning the Flood" the album tour in September. We're doing UK, um, and we're starting in Ireland, which is the first time we've ever played Ireland. So really, really excited about that. And then we have scheduled in Europe for November. We aren't 100 percent sure if it is going to go ahead, but we urge everyone to grab tickets um, while they are still available. Um, because we are some of the dates are starting to look pretty full up now, which is amazing. Um, obviously, we will try and reschedule it if COVID sort of stops us from being able to do that, um, traveling to Europe in November. But um, all things are looking pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got to keep our fingers and toes crossed and hope that everything comes to fruition, really. Yes, for the grapevine, I've uh, been getting a lot of emails from um, concert promoters about uh, concerts kind of... Uh scheduled and uh, business as usual looking that way touch wood as i say but yeah we'll uh, get your tour dates on um, this interview we'll put up on my youtube channel as well with your with your uk dates as well so people can find out where you're at i know you're in my neck of the woods birmingham 23rd of september at the o2 institute number three yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, thank you so much, Connor. Also, for me to say is thanks for taking time out of your schedule to talk to me on the, uh, well, it's the Danny Sonova Flow Show, supporting and previewing up incoming artists, bands. It's great to have you on, and uh, we'll just get a track off your album out so people get a feel for your music and your band as well. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, man. Again, really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to talk to us. Like, there was a really long time where literally no one cared about our hollow home. So to have people genuinely want to talk to us and find out about the band and, you know, an insight into our weird minds. I mean, we're pretty just standard dudes that watch a lot of anime and play a lot of video games. So it's tight that people are interested in what we do creatively. And yeah, just really appreciate the time, man. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.